Hey everybody, welcome back to the Eco Shooter, where today we are going to have a smashing good time. We are going to uh, test out some tough PLA. Now, PLA is not generally known for being tough. It's a very rigid material that is generally pretty brittle. Uh, so when it takes a hit, it just cracks uh, and, and snaps and that kind of thing. But the folks at VO3D said that they have an extremely tough 3D printing uh, PLA and that uh, they think it can beat pretty much all the stuff that we already have on our shelves. Uh, but you can't tell me that you've got the toughest PLA without me wanting to put that to the test. So we've rigged up a right, smasherizer ball drop o that uh, we're going to test all of these things with. We've got this big red button here. The big red button triggers the power supply to cut power to the electromagnet, which has a 3D printed, uh, a resin 3D printed using 3D resin solutions, hard resin, so we're not absorbing any impacts on the ball. We've got a lineup of challengers here, so we are going to put that to the test, see how it performs against the stuff we already offer, and uh, let's jump in, let's do it, let's have some fun. All right, let's get into this. Now, I have to say, this is not scientific testing, so uh, take it with a grain of salt. This is just kind of for fun, um, but, uh, but I think this will be nerdy and, and a good time. So to join me in doing this testing here, we've got the HeartSmart Products crew, uh, Alan, Jesse, and Clayton here, and we are going to collectively get some data. So <laughs> let's start off with our control. So down here at the bottom, we've got the red cube. The red cube is, again, just push plastic standard PLA. So uh, Clayton, if you wouldn't mind, let's drop the ball. Huh. Wow. <laughs> we, we already have a failure. Look at that. So yeah, standard PLA. Again, not known for being very tough. That was from what? Uh, 500 millimeters. 500 millimeters. So yeah, not very far. That thing's just mad. And we are, big red X. We've already got broken PLA. Yeah, you did. Um, well, let's find out if we need to lower our expectations <laughs> as well as the magnet. So we're moving on to 3D Print Life Pro PLA. So uh, Alan, we are again at 500 uh, millimeters. Let's see how we can do. Clayton, hit the big red button. There we go. I call it a win. That's better. We do have, we, do have a chip. we have a chip. Next up, 3D Fuel Pro PLA. Clayton, if you would mind, would, wouldn't mind. Wow. Bounce. Wow. <laughs> Let's see if the fiberglass does anything to that 4043D. Again, the base resin here is the same as it was on that push plastic red lattice cube. So we'll see if that does any good. Oh no! Oh, that was bad. <laughs> oh no! We have a fail. Look at that. Oh, that's fiber. All right, man. Do it. Ooh, that's not so good. Boy. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, again, it's like a two-year-old MakerBox sample. I, I don't know that this is conclusive evidence, but uh, I'm sorry to say the PlayFab does not move on to the next round. <laughs> All right, so this stuff is not pure PLA either. Um, this is a... ABS analog, uh, so we'll see how this performs compared to the PLA. In three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> it's like a springboard. That's awesome. That was super cool. 
the Challenger. All right, here we go from 500 millimeters, VO3D. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. So that is uh, not so good. Um, maybe it was just a bad sample. Maybe we should try it again. Okay, are we ready? VO3D, second try. Mm, that's not so good. <laughs> the high speed okay? Yeah. We definitely have some shrapnel. Yeah, it made it all the way to here. Oh boy. All right. Well, I'm sorry to say that that is uh, a confirmed fail. Yeah. Yeah, that's a confirmed fail. All right. Dang. Boy, I really oh, yeah. did not expect that. Um, I mean, look how tall this thing is. Yeah. <laughs> we, had, we had such high hopes. Well, okay. Let's move it up. I mean, I was going to move it up 100 millimeters, so. I guess we have some that, that didn't that didn't break, so let's try that. Yep. All right, so we're up to 600 millimeters now. Um, it's the control, so we gotta smash the standard PLA, right? Do it. We got a bounce that time. We actually got a bounce. But hey, the results are what the results are. So let's keep going. We've got. 3D Print Life Pro PLA. That's the blue one. Okay. Ooh. I don't think we can call that one a uh, success. There's a big dent in the surface of that guy and a lot of chips falling out. Let's do uh, fiberglass. <laughs> I mean, it absorbed the impact. All right, now Omni made it through round one. Yeah, let's see how it goes. So this will be interesting to see how this survives. A hundred millimeters higher. Oh, jeez! Oh, it nicked a corner. It got the corner on the bounce. Oh, no. This is a 3D Fuel Pro PLA. Again, not the same as 3D Print Life Pro PLA. Yes! That is what I'm talking about. Beautiful specimen right there. Cool. Um, is that round? No, VO3D. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. That is just, it's not, it's not good. It's not good. Uh, here's Omni from 700 millimeters. Let's see how it does. Maybe we have a better balance, go. It was just a bad bounce last time. Bounce. It was just a bad bounce. That is absolutely perfect. No issues there at all. I think we're good. We're good. Uh, 3D Fuel Pro PLA. You got it. Wow. We gotta keep going, guys. All right, we had to skip 800. We're going to 900 um, just because of our setup. <laughs> so we'll see, uh, see if we can hit the target here. Oh, that's a fail. That is a strong fail. <laughs> Guys, we gotta keep going. One meter drop test. I'm just gonna use the same sample. That is uh, hard to dispute. Whew. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, we're going all the way out. Should we see our, how our VO3D? I've got one more VO3D that has never been touched. Okay. So here you go. So no fatigue weakening, nothing. All right, give it a try. Not so much a bounce. <laughs> all right. Well, I think it's definitive. Uh, 3D Fuel Pro PLA. That's our winner by a lot. By a lot. Yeah, 
Yeah, the Omni would come in second. We'll put the, we'll put, I, I don't know, I guess, can we even have last places? Because. Yeah, last place is obviously standard. Like, standard and, standard and glass fiber are like tied for. For last. Deadline. Yeah, on the impact resistance. Well, anyway, I hope this was fun. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe. Uh, leave your comments down below. Yes, okay, wait a minute. We know this is not the best way to scientifically test these materials. This was just for fun. Don't don't tell us all the ways we did it wrong. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, but anyway, hope this was fun, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.